We're here with West Indies assistant coach Toby Radford as the West Indies head down to Australia for five ODIs in one T20. Toby, a big tour. What are your expectations for the team on this trip? Um, well, the, the team itself is a, is a real mix of uh, experienced and younger players. I uh, want to see some real fighting performances. We performed well against Australia back in, back in the Caribbean um, nearly a year ago, or less than a year ago. Um, so we want to go and do well on their pitches and in their backyard. Um, I imagine they're going to be a different proposition out there. Um, they've had cricket, but obviously a lot of our guys have come from either playing in the Big Bash or, or playing in the Caribbean 2020. Okay, you speak about youth and experience. Our young players are, are coming on pretty, pretty well. You work with quite a few of them at the Sajic or HPC. Uh, what, are you, what are your expectations from them in terms of uh, what, what you, what, how they'll adjust to the Aussie conditions? Well, I mean, Kieran Powell's done really well in Test cricket, I think, um, and started a show in Bangladesh. He can play in the one-day game as well. So I want to see him develop. He plays pace well, and, and um, I think what the Aussies will attack us with is probably their two quick left armers. Um, he'll bang it in halfway down, so I think he'll cope well with that. And I, th I think it'll be a test of, a, a bit more of our back foot play. Um, we've come from Bangladesh playing spinners on slow wickets, and this is the complete opposite. Um, so I'd like to see him do well. I'd like to see Devon Thomas, obviously, carry on what he's done since he's been given an opportunity. Um, and can get some good scores in the middle order. And there's also two other Sajiko HPC uh, graduates, Jason Holder and Johnson Charles in the squad? Absolutely. I mean, Johnson Charles was in the World Cup winning side, so you know we know what he's capable of. want to see more of the same from him. Um, and Jason Holder's really, I mean, for a number of years, really impressed me when he was at the HPC, his work rate. Um, him as an individual on and off the field, a terrific guy. I think he's got a lot to offer. And when you talk cricket with him, he's got a real wise head already on young shoulders. So uh, and from all accounts in the, in the, the 2020 recently, he's been getting the ball through. Um, but he, we know he can he can bat well in the the lower middle order. So I, an all round very good cricketer. And the senior players uh, need no introduction. Um, Chris Gale, Darren Sammy, Dwayne Bravo, and Ramnara Sarwan is has returned to the to the West Indies team. I guess the leadership group looks pretty solid and look, and can handle themselves at this level for sure. Absolutely. Well, they've been there and done it. All of those guys have been there and done it and, and played at this level and played well at this level. So, uh, what you've got, I think, in any side, you want that mix of youth, talented youth but with experienced heads as well. You can't have all youngsters or you, you, know, you need someone to guide the ship. And uh, we need our big players to perform on this tour. You know, Chris has is, is, is found some form recently. Polly's had some good scores out in Australia. Um, you know, Brav, senior Brav's done really well. So, you know, we've got, we've got high quality players here. And I think if they can do their bit and lead from the front, you've got the youngsters to show what they've got as well. This could be a really good tour. And um, last year when we played Australia in the Caribbean, Kimar Roach, 10 wickets in a test match in Trinidad. I know he's not, we're not playing a test tour, but mm. Roach, he's been down, he's been in the Big Bash, he won the Big Bash with Brisbane, and he, he comes back into the squad. I'm sure he's, he, I know he's one of your favourite players in the team, and, mm. and I'm sure you're expecting a lot from him in, in conditions that are pretty familiar to him now. A a absolutely, and, and I think they'll be well aware. Um, you know, players like Warner, who he, he got out for a pastime back in the Caribbean, there'll be one or two, you know, knowing that he's already had them before, so, you know, they're slightly on the back foot and um, I know they were very impressed when he bowled at them in the Caribbean and if he can produce anything like that you know I think we're in for a really good series. And finally it's the start of a very big year for West Indies there's flat out cricket up until the end of July West Indies will be playing all formats of the game Champions Trophy in England and um, what will be your expectations for the team this year? Well, I mean, we set a standard high last year winning the World Cup. So, you know, <laughs> anything less than any winning any tournament, you know, isn't, isn't an achievement. We want to try and win. So, Champions Trophy, we want to be really pushing for that. Um, you know, 50 overs is obviously a different game and we'll have to look at the format of the side and how we play in the 50 overs. Uh, we knew that in the 2020 we really had a team for that and it, and, it, and it came off and we won that. Now we've got to adapt a little bit, get the selection right and then the guys have got to go out and produce again. Um, you know, as you say, it's a great year all around, starting with this, with this Australian trip and then we've got Zimbabwe back in the Caribbean um, but the Champions Trophy it would be really nice to compete well in when we come over to England and, um, and perform there. Okay Toby thank you very much. Thanks mate. Okay.